Rotten Tomatoes now decides who's getting directing jobs. We have a lot of new movies coming out this week and classics that you can go see in theater. All that and more on Throw Me Update. Real me. The first thing that we're going to talk about is are studios considering directors by Rotten Tomato scores? This is from THR and this is a snippet from it. Now, this is part of the article that is spreading like wildfire, and this is also coming from Dark Horizons, that Rotten Tomatoes is now being used as a measurement to demote directors. One source tells the trade, critical acclaim is now gamified. The Rotten Tomatoes score is the first thing people look at when I go pitch a director. It inevitably affects decision-making around hiring a director. When you hire a director, all you have is their past work and a meeting. Now, I completely understand someone's past work being a big component of hiring them. If, they, if they're not making movies that are hitting, then I completely understand that. To just go off the Rotten Tomato score, however, is not the subject I like to see because A, it's an algorithm. It's not necessarily the reviews of the movies that their, their goals are hit with. It is, not, it is not individually based like a critic score would be, like if a critic is doing the review. It's just an algorithm. So if you go into that meeting and the director who directed whatever summer blockbuster and it has an 84%, yeah, it has an 84%, but all those reviews could have just been like, yeah, it's watchable. That's not how this should be done. And especially with someone's talent, we already deal with actors needing like a big social media platform for them to get jobs so they can basically sell themselves I don't, I don't think this is a good use of trying to decide if someone should direct a job or not. What say you? Do you feel like this is a good way to measure whether a director gets a job or not? Let me know in the comments. Right now, I'm going to send it off to Review It Rob to tell us about some of the movies coming out this weekend that are new and classic and a TV show to check out. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? I've got another update for you about what's releasing this week, man. You got two movies hitting theaters. You got a couple. You got, I don't know, honestly, two new movies hitting theaters. You got two classic movies celebrating anniversaries hitting theaters this week. And you got something premiering on streaming. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this with our first thing to talk about, which is the movie challengers hitting theaters this is about a former tennis prodigy turned coach and a force of nature who makes no apologies for her game on and off the court uh this is starring as you can see there zendaya or zendaya however people want to pronounce it but it is an interesting uh, interesting looking film so if you want to check that out if you're into tennis or if you're into any of that or if you're just a big zendaya fan you might want to go ahead and check that movie out. Also releasing this week, we've got something completely different here with a super action film called Boy Kills World. This one stars Bill Skarsgård, uh, who is vowing revenge after his family is murdered by Hilda von der Koy, uh, the deranged a matriarch of a corrupt post-apocalyptic uh, destiny dynasty jesus that left the boy orphaned deaf and voiceless so if you've seen that trailer you've been like what is he talking we don't really see his mouth moving all that stuff it is inner monologue that is going on there bill skarsgård fantastic actor uh film has a lot of words in its synopsis tripped me up there man <laughs> but um boy kills world if you want to check that out that is hitting theaters this week now teased it earlier we have some films hitting theaters returning to theaters i love it when movies return to theaters this one's celebrating its 45th anniversary we have alien a big time horror film in the history of all horror movies sci-fi all that good stuff alien if you want to go to theaters and celebrate its 45th anniversary that will be in theaters this friday 
yes, this Friday hits theaters and will remain in theaters uh, till next Friday. Next Friday won't have any showing. So you've got till this Friday, all the way up next Friday to see that film in theaters. If you want to relive that, I might do that myself. Another film hitting theater celebrating anniversary is The Mummy. It is turning 25, man, celebrating its 25th anniversary this week. Much like Alien, it will be in theaters uh, this week starts this week. It actually starts on Thursday as opposed to Friday as Alien does. So this Thursday, you can see The Mummy is celebrating its 25th anniversary in theaters and will last until next Friday. So you can see it from this Thursday all the way up to next Friday. You can't see it that Friday, but you know, I'm getting, you know what I'm saying there. So you got all that fun stuff happening this week. I might do that as well, man. I like The Mummy franchise, but we know which one is my favorite. And then hitting streamings for you, if you have Paramount+, Plus, we have the knuckles television show or the streaming event as they put it there knuckles is of course a spin-off character of the sonic the hedgehog franchise and this is a going to be a spin-off of the sonic film series and the first ever live action television series in the franchise overall the series will take place between the events of sonic the hedgehog 2 which released back in 2022 and sonic the hedgehog 3 which releases this year uh, Idris Elba is reprising his role as the voice of Knuckles for this series, man. So there you go. It says what? Six episodes streaming events. So six episodes dropping on the 26th, man. So there you go. Stuff to watch this week, man. You got four options in theaters, whether you can see the new films with Challengers, uh, Boy Kills World, or you can go celebrate some anniversaries, 45th for Alien, 25th for The Mummy, or you can just stay at home and watch Paramount Plus for some knuckles, man. Get the knuckles in your face, man. Knuckle sandwich, if you will. Anyways, that is it, man. That is what is releasing this week. Check them out. If you're planning on checking any of those things out, let us know in the comments. Let us know your thoughts, man. But overall, thank you for watching this. There's some things for you to check out. We appreciate you. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. And we will be back with more. Thank you, Rob. Let me tell you, this weekend's big because I want to see Challengers oh so bad. You know that Rotten Tomato score is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to see Challengers so bad. I hope I do get to go see it this weekend. But as Rob put out there, Aliens celebrating its 45th anniversary. Uh, the Mummy is celebrating its 25th anniversary. And then uh, Phantom Menace is just around the corner celebrating its 25th anniversary. Now, I didn't go see The Mummy in theater, obviously, since it's coming out this uh, weekend, but I did get a chance to watch it last week at the comfort of my own home because next month in May, when it actually did come out, we are going to have a Core Memory Unlock exclusively on our Patreon that we're talking about The Mummy. So you should check that out on the Throw Me Podcast Network Patreon. Come support some schmucks just doing this thing out of pure love. And because of that, you should subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment on all the topics that we just talked about today. We want to hear from you. And remember, come back Sunday for Thrill Me Weekly 